Rain, rain, rain. Drain, drain, drain. Wash, wash, wash. Solar igniter, solar igniter, solar igniter. There's always going to be plenty of solar igniters as long as people are willing to throw their trash on the side of the road. That one should polish up nicely. All right, let me show you the polish that I use. Blue Magic. You can get it at any auto parts store. All right. It's the next day and I want to show you how easily that will polish up the bottom of that can. And I wanted to try some tablespoon solar ignition today too and this is the tablespoon I've used the three or four times in my past in my videos this is the one I've used so it should already be pretty shiny under all that dirt but I'm not going to use this one I want to try this one that I just got out of the cabinet I want to see if that one will shine up the bowl on this is not as deep as the bowl on that and I was just I've just always been assuming that this this wouldn't work as well as this one this one might work better so let's go ahead and shine these two up I usually like to go over it two times for a can bottom The sun is down there at the bottom of the yard. We're gonna have I'll have to do the solar ignition part down there, I guess. Now that the leaves are back on the tree, the sun sun doesn't hardly make it into the backyard. Oh yeah. You ought to really be able to see the camera now. Now, a chocolate bar will make it some shiny, but not really shiny enough to make an easy solar ignition. So I want to shine this one back up. I'll turn you back on when I get these two shined up. All right, you always want to wear your shades when doing solar experiments, always. And let's try the tablespoon first. This is the spoon I always used before. This is the new one. See if I can switch from a deep bowl to just a regular size bowl. So I'll come back out later on this afternoon when the sun is lower in the sky. It seems to work better like that. But this is powerful. This is gonna work pretty easily. Once again, we want to find out where the best place is at on our finger first, which is right there, and see if we can get a little quicker response out of this one. All right. Now it's just gotten very, very bright. That's because the sun, that's because that focal point, the concentrated sun was reflecting off of that ash.
Let's try it again. I believe we can do it quicker than that. It's hard to get this stuff on video and get it just right. You always want to find the focal point on your finger first. And that was it right there. I can't see on the underside. Let me get over here. Oh, it's already ignited. It's already ignited. Let's try one more. Let's try it from over here and see. Find it on your finger first. That's it right there. And because it's so bright out, I'm not sure, but I think it's glowing very brightly. Nope. That's it right there. I can feel it on my finger, but I just can't see it on the char cloth. Oh yeah, it is glowing very brightly. There's no question about that. All right, let's wait till about about two o'clock in the afternoon when the sun is lower in the sky. We'll try it again. All right, the problem was not the sun was not high enough in the sky. The problem was that bowl wasn't deep enough. Let me show you with this one, and it's still 12 noon. I didn't wait till two o'clock.
One more time, just for good measure. Let's try that again. A phone call just came in and it stopped my camera from recording. Takes a long time to see that it's ignited. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.